Thanks, Chairman Corley. The issue I'd like to raise this morning with the Minister is the question of school patronage because there has been painfully slow progress made in this area over the past five years. And there's now an onus on the Minister, I believe, to make this a priority issue in the education portfolio. Because if we are a true republic, then I believe that we must ensure that our institutions respect and indeed reflect the diversity of modern Irish society. And this is true in respect of education in particular. The state, I believe, has a serious responsibility to ensure that every child has access to a state-funded school in their own locality and that, that's, and that the ethos of that school reflects the ethos of the family concerned. But a significant number of parents have no choice but to send their child to a school which does not align with their own belief system. And many parents feel that they must baptise their children in order that they can be enrolled in a local state-funded school. This situation is entirely unacceptable in this day and age and must be dealt with as a matter of priority. This week, Minister, you appeared to endorse the community national school model. This model involves splitting classes and segregating children on religious grounds for part of the school day. This happens because the Catholic Church insisted on a requirement to have faith formation classes and preparation for sacraments during school hours in these schools. We know that thanks to the excellent research carried out by Emma O'Kelly of RTE because she had access to Freedom of Information papers, which showed that this was an agreement reached between the Catholic Church and the then government in 2007. That was, you know, only nine years ago, and it is incredible that that agreement was reached. Minister, I have two questions for you. Firstly, will you commit here this morning to repeal Section 73C of the Equal Status Act? in order to ensure that all children can access their local, publicly funded primary school, irrespective of their belief system? And will you end this most blatant form of discrimination against our children? Secondly, Minister, do you accept that the community national school model entails segregation on religious grounds and runs counter to the principles of child-centeredness and inclusiveness? And if so, why are you endorsing it? Thank you, Deputy Shorthill, Minister. Well, uh, thanks very much, Deputy Shorthill, for raising this, which I believe is an important question. Uh, there's no doubt that Ireland has changed and citizens have different expectations of, 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 of all departments, but most particularly uh, in the area of education. And it is certainly my ambition that to help parents uh, in particular to have access to the school of their choice. Uh, as the Deputy rightly points out, I think it's over 95% of, of our schools are now uh, denominational schools. Uh, and my ambition is to deliver the commitment in the programme for government, which is to treble the number of schools uh, that would uh, offer uh, alternative patronage to denominational patronage. M my, my vision for this is that you know, we should have diverse and as much diversity as possible. I don't see the merit in a single model or confining uh, our approach to a single model. And that is why I have sought to accelerate all the elements of the existing strategy. Obviously, providing new schools, and last week I provided new schools in, in, in the neighbouring area to yourself, uh, in, in the Cabra area and in Dublin 1 and Merino, new uh, Educate Together schools uh, as patrons. So we will need, need to continue to provide schools with new patrons, new schools for new patrons, and virtually all the schools where new patrons are being appointed are, 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 non -den are multi-denominational or non-denominational. Uh, I, I believe that the, uh, the progress that's being made on the transfer of patronage, which was initiated obviously by Deputy Rory Quinn and continued by Deputy Janice Sullivan, uh, that's something that we can ac accelerate and I will be 
uh, forming a working group which will sit down with the Catholic patrons to seek to accelerate that work. Uh, I think it's recognised as an area that slow progress has been made, but it's one that we would hope to accelerate. And I don't share the, the Deputy's view regarding the role of the Community National School. I think uh, having a school that's in state patronage, not private patronage, that offers under one umbrella the opportunity for faith-based uh, uh, instruction within it, as well as provision for other options, that that offers a good model that will allow us in a transition, if we're moving from 95% plus to a situation where we need to have change. I think you will need models that can accommodate parents with different views of the type of education their children should have. And I think the community-based national school under the ETB as a state-sponsored patron is a good model that I think has potential. Now, obviously, we have to look at it, look at how uh, within it uh, children who do not opt to be in, for example, a, a, a denomination, the, the programmes that they receive. And I'm very open to look at you know, how we can improve those pr programmes. But I don't share your view that we should throw out a model that allows under one umbrella Different, uh, different views of, 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 of education you, to, to thrive. Debbie Shortall. Uh, thanks for your reply, Minister, but I don't think you're addressing the core issue here. You know, you're talking about endorsing a model which entails segregating children during the school day. Now, how can that, be, how can that possibly be right? You know, what you're suggesting there is that education policy should put the interests of children second to the interests of any church. Now, you know, how can you defend that situation? Just imagine that, you know, for a half an hour in every school day, children are segregated according to religion. That cannot possibly be right. And, you know, at a very minimum, Minister, are you prepared to insist that any denominational instruction is moved to the end of the school day so that we don't have this kind of divisive and anti-inclusive uh, policy and operation in the community national schools. The other thing, Minister, I would say to you is that you haven't addressed the other question about Section 7 of the Equal Status Act, right, which will you. continue to allow thousands of schools to discriminate purely on the grounds of religion. Thank you, now, Deputy are you prepared to give a commitment to repeal that section here in order to stop that kind of discrimination? Minister, to conclude. I, I, again, I don't agree with the deputy. I mean, children do do different things during the course of the school day, and I think if we can create a, a model that's acceptable uh, to a lot of parents that offers diversity within that school, I think that's, that's something to be celebrated. Uh, and I, I think that that is something that we should include. It's not the exclusive model. We will have you know, the Educate Together mo model, you'll have the Gale Scullina model, you will have some denominational models, and so on. And I think you know, the view of diversity with different education offerings to parents who want different things, I think is the right approach. Uh, on the issue of you know, the Equal Status Act, it doesn't, I mean, obviously it wasn't considered in the admissions bill that was uh, introduced in the, in the last government, and I think it won't be part of the admissions bill that I p publish uh, soon. But obviously the Dáil will have to debate the, uh, its, uh, its approach to this. In, in, in truth, um, you know, there is constitutional protection for religious uh, within our constitution, and the last Oireachtas Committee recognised that there is a difficulty here, uh, so I think that has to be recognised. Uh, there is you know, the equal status uh, provides that we will be providing in the admissions bill that a, a denominational school must accept a child of non-denominational uh, but it cannot, it, if it is oversubscribed, there is the issue that that, that may not occur. Thank you, Minister. 20% of schools are, are oversubscribed. But this will be a matter in which I'm consulting with the other uh, Oireachtas members, uh, and it will be a matter that we will be able to debate here in the Oireachtas. Thank you very much, Minister. 